Hello, my name is Dan Rice, and I am the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Ohio and Erie Canalway Coalition, and we also serve as a convener for Akron Civic Commons. We're very proud to serve as the owner's representative for the redevelopment of Lock 3 Park as well as Summit Lake Park. And we are so grateful to all of our funders and donors, including the City of Akron, the Knight Foundation, and all of our individual donors. We are here today with Kat Demusi, the Director of Construction with Answer Advisory, to talk about the redevelopment of Lock 3 Park. Kat, since the last time we were here, there's just so much change we've been seeing here, right? Yes, the site has changed incredibly since the last update. We've made some improvements to the balcony area. We'll go take a look at the pavilion and even some of the site walks on the side of the site. That sounds fantastic. And we've also been very fortunate to have some really good construction weather, which has really enabled the, the, the schedule to proceed on a timely manner. We definitely have. That sounds fantastic. So why don't we go ahead and take a walk up there to the balcony? Sure. So Kat, this is absolutely amazing. We are standing on the Francis and Richard Buckles or balcony, and it is absolutely massive. Yes, Dan, you can actually tell now that we've started pouring the sub-base concrete how large it actually is. Eventually, this will all have a wood deck topping, and if you can see all the openings here, eventually there will be 16 trees planted within this deck area. So this is gonna be a great place for University of Akron students, downtown workers, residents, to hang out during the day. And then, as you can tell by looking behind us here, it's also gonna be a wonderful place to experience a concert or event at the Manor Performance Pavilion. It definitely will be. This is gonna be a beautiful site once it's done. This will be a place where you and I can maybe come down and have a lunch when this project absolutely, is all over. Absolutely, absolutely. That sounds good. Well, why don't we take a walk over here and maybe look at the new garden walls that have been sold right along the Ohio Near Canal. Sure. Cat, here we are really literally on the walkway in the Bloom Garden. Yes. And so you can see behind us here, the, the walls have been actually poured. Um, and it, you really actually start to see the beauty of the landscape design of the park coming to being. Yes, so at this point, all the garden walls are done. They're still bringing in fill material to backfill before we can actually landscape. Here soon, we'll see the sidewalks actually wrapping their way around and tying back into the towpath trail down at the bottom. So, that, so that's what we're looking at over my left shoulder is the actual Highway near Canal Towpath Trail. It is. And uh, that connects obviously Cleveland to New Philadelphia. So this, this is absolutely just breathtaking to see the beauty of the design of Lock 3 Park come into being. I'm seeing the other big uh, area of progress has actually been the Manor Performance Pavilion. Yes. So why don't we walk on over there and maybe we can talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. So here we are, Kat, in front of the Manor Performance Pavilion. And from this perspective, you really get a great view of the world-class design of this beautiful structure. You sure do, Dan. We are currently erecting steel. We have one beam left to set, and you can see the carpentry work taking place at the two little substructures underneath the pavilion here. So I'm glad you actually mentioned that last beam because it's my understanding that's actually part of a tradition called a topping out ceremony that we're actually going to do tomorrow here at Lock 3 Park. Yeah, Dan, so tomorrow on May 7th, we're going to set the very last beam for the topping out ceremony. This beam has now been painted white and has been signed by both construction workers as well as donors for the project. Tomorrow, the iron workers will set a tree and American flag on it, and they'll actually set the last beam. I did a little bit of research on it, and it sounds like the history of the topping out ceremony is an old Scandinavian tradition um, where they would place a tree on top of the structure and they would know when all the leaves fell off the tree that the wood was dry enough for the structure to be sited. So that has come into play historically now through ironworkers. And to me, it's also a really great milestone in the development of Lock 3 Park in the Manor Performance Pavilion. So we're really excited tomorrow to have all of our friends and donors on Tuesday, May 7th, come out and join us for this uh, topping out ceremony here at Lock 3 Park. So one of the things that is really important to us with this project is having a, an amazing leadership team. And it really starts at the top with you as director of construction, Kat. I mean, you do an amazing job of managing this project, but you also have a couple other team members as well. And we're gonna bring one of those other team members in here. This is Nashonda Lockett. And Nashonda is the director of inspection for this project, correct? So this is part of our leadership team here at Lock 3 Park. Um, in addition to these great women leaders beside me, we also have Michelle DeFiore at the City of Akron, who is our co-lead on this project from the City of Akron, as well as the, our design team with Owen. So you have Cindy Sanders as well as Jamie Kaminsky. 
So this is just a handful of our uh, leaders with the Lock 3 Redevelopment Project who are making a tremendous difference here. So thank you so much for your hard work. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. So I want to take this opportunity to thank our viewers once again for joining us for this update on the Lock 3 Park Project. Special thanks to all of our donors, specifically the City of Akron, the Knight Foundation, and all of our individual donors for making this project possible. And until next time, thank you for tuning in and take care.